بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو سعد خان یوٹیوب چینل کنٹینگ دا ٹاپک فرام دا پریویس ویڈیو وی سالو ٹیل ایگزامپل ٹو پوائنٹ سیون بفور وی فردر موو آن لیٹ سے آئی جسٹ ہیو اے لیٹل اے لیٹل پوائنٹ اینڈ دیٹ از دی پوٹینشیل ایٹ پوائنٹس پوٹینشیل ایٹ پوائنٹس اینڈ واٹ ڈو آئی مین بائی دس so i basically i tried to explain it in the previous video but let's say we give it a little more uh, time uh, two or three minutes so basically if let's say you are given a voltage at this point is va and then you have a different combinations of voltages and then the final voltage over here is vb and let's say this is known this is two volts this is three volts this is four volts this is five volts and the plus minus of course you know the voltage drops the voltage rises that is not the concern over here that is something to do with the network analysis maybe one day you are you're watching me solving network analysis questions over here maybe right anyways so now what if your va is unknown or vb is unknown or if the difference is unknown if the potential difference let's say at these two points is unknown we, we have va a minus vb and this is unknown so what do you do, have to do in that case so you do what you start at one point i'm starting at va so va I don't know plus minus let me name it a plus then you have a plus to mine you have a voltage drop so minus two volts then you have a plus three volts and then you have a minus four volts and then you have a plus five volts and now what do you do you put it equal to the final voltage you put it equal to the final voltage so this would be the expression or you could say V A minus vb is equal to is equal to what uh, negative 2 plus 3 plus 1 then minus 4 then negative 3 uh, negative three. so this is a 2 volt this would come so this is how you do it fine similarly if your vb was let's suppose known and va was unknown so you now have you, you you could put the final value over here let's say this vb was known that the potential at this point is let's suppose uh, or let me let let that be so if let's suppose the potential at this point was known to be two volts or let's say one volt right so you have to put the entire thing equal to one volt fine so if you put it one over here so this would come out to be three volts fine so this is how if you have a single point if you are uh, given single points anyways example number 2.8 determine first let me draw the circuit first let me draw the circuit example 2.8 so this we are continuing from the series diode configurations if you've not watched the previous video the link is in the description when i am delivering a lecture over here i've told you previously i i assume that you've already watched the previous videos in the complete playlist anyways plus 20 volts silicon diode silicon diode in the opposite winner resistor with a value 5.6 kilo ohms grounded what's unknown id vd2 v not id vd2 v not v not is the voltage over here on and off state is the first thing you have to do is the diode on is the diode off silicon diode has a 0.7 volt barrier potential the applied voltage is greater the current direction the conventional current direction is matching the the arrow direction of the diode this diode is in the on state over here it's being reverse biased it's being reverse biased have a look P is connected to negative, grounded, and is connected to positive. This is in the off state. Now you draw the equivalent circuit. So the equivalent circuit will be like this. You have a 0.7 volts. You have an open circuit. You have 
this and and let me draw it like this 20 volts and this value is given 5.6 k and and the current would basically no current but and v naught is this voltage so what do we have id no current yes no current so id is equal to i can write it over here id is equal to zero we have an open circuit right v naught is equal to zero which be why because this is id times r so this is zero multiply this thing now the potential at points minus you have a you have a 20 volts kvl implies 20 volts minus 0 0.7 and then you have a plus minus vd so this is equal to vd isn't it like this it is so vd comes out to be 19.3 volts isn't it vd where is it why is it showing us a, a a a 20 volts hmm the question is what to substitute for the silicon diode simply recall for the actual diode when id is zero vd is zero no bias situation so why why do we replace it with a no bias situation no basically they have replaced this one by a no biasing this diode they have replaced by a no biasing state and i i don't i don't understand why i have not read the book uh, previously uh, but why to the combination of short circuit in series with an open circuit will always result in an open circuit yes so the current is zero the question remains as to what substitute for the silicon diode so for the following the series of chapters uh, when id is zero vd is zero uh, no by situation so when id is zero vd is zero yes yes so basically you can do what the thing is yes if if there is no current flowing in the circuit we don't have any current flowing in the circuit right so how can this be enabled how can this voltage be turned on right that's a valid point that is a valid point if no current is flowing This means no biasing. Why? Because if a current is not, we have, we have a voltage source applied. Yes, we have a voltage source applied, but no current can flow through the element. So of course it cannot be. Let's say if you're not understanding it over here, you have a battery, you have an open circuit, you have an open circuit, no current flows, right? If you place a diode at one end although you see it to be forward biased you don't understand it over there p seems to be connected to the positive n seems to be connected to the negative but that was this case current will flow we'll replace it by its battery equivalent but 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 what about when this is an open circuit and if no current flows so no charge is provided to the diode so the diode cannot be replaced by anything and that is what the book says over here so 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 this diode this diode has to be replaced by what has nothing to be replaced with this has to be remain as such so if you apply kvl so you don't have a minus 0.7 you have your vd equal to e which is equal to 20 volts I hope that you have understood the point. There is no current in the circuit, so there, this voltage could not be set up across this diode. Yes? Yes. So therefore, that one, we know this would be an open circuit, but what about this one? So if there is no current, so this would remain as such as it is representing the no bias situation. 
and it's clear now so like this when you will do when we do the mistakes so we learn it more properly like over here I replaced it directly I have not read the book I was just saying that, that this is followed by so this has nothing to do with the second diode but then when I read the book so there was written very clearly that when there is no current in the circuit how could this be forward biased right so that is why we replaced it with a, with a diode under no bias condition example number 2.9 Example 2.9. Let me draw the circuit over here. So what does this say? This says that you have an, a 10 volt voltage. This is 10 volts over here. This is E1, whatever. We, we I'm not interested in that. You have an R 4.7 kilo ohms. This is R1 basically. Let's see if we need it further, but if we don't, so we'll not write the names. Then you have a silicon diode. And then you have a resistance of 2.2 kilo ohms. And then over here you have a negative 5 volts. Fine. Yes. So. Let's start it. Let's start discussion. So number, of, uh, what is unknown? I is unknown. And then you have V1, V2 and V0. I, V1, V2, V0. So what is V1, V2 and V0? Okay. V0 is the voltage at this point. V2, I will, I will draw it with a different color. V0 is at this point, plus minus V1, wait the plus minus, wait for the plus minus, V2. So this is a plus source, this will pressure current in this direction, so you have a plus minus. It would come down, you have a plus minus. This is a series circuit, there would be a single current and that is denoted by I. Have a look for the diode to be on or off. What would it be? The barrier, the applied voltage is greater than the barrier potential of the diode. Yes, the, di the arrow current, the conventional current is the same as this current. So which means the diode is in the on state. So basically this one was off and this one was trying to be on but we replaced it by unknown bias and the reason we explained. So, let's say we simplify the circuit a little. Not simplify, but redraw it. So, this plus 10 volts, I draw like this. Fine. And then I have 4.7 kilo ohms resistor. Then I have a, a 0 0.7 volts. I have another resistor which is of a 2.2 kilo ohms. And then I have the negative connected over here and I have a positive over here. And these are connected to common ground. This is 5 volts. Now we don't have to do with the negative positive. I've shown the, the thing. The current is I. Let's say we find the current first. 10 volts plus minus 4.7 kilo times ID plus minus 0, minus 0 0.7 plus minus minus 2.2 kilo ohm times ID minus 2 plus plus 5 volts is equal to 0. Solve for yourself. Solve the values and confirm for the value of ID to be 2.07 milliamperes. 2.07 milliamperes. They've, they've simply named it I. Yes, the book has named it I. So let's say this is I, whatever it is, this is a series current the same. So I is done. V1 is the voltage over here. So, so V1 would be what? V1 is I times R1. So this is equal to 2.07 milli into, into what? 4.7 kilo, 9 point something, what? Yes, tell me, 
9.73 volts is V1. V2 is what? It's I times R2 and I is 2.07 milli, 4, 2.2 kilo. V2 is what? 4.55. Confirm it. Once again, I have any mistake in the in the in the in the calculations. Let me know in the comment section if I, I I will not have a chance to correct it, but somebody else watching the video can take help from it. This is done. This is done. This is done. V naught was where? V naught was over here. At this point, V naught. Right? So for V naught, what do we have? We will apply the potential at point. So this is a negative to plus so this is a 10 minus v1 v1 is v1 is where 9.73 minus 0 0.7 and this is equal to v0 so have a look 10 minus 9.73 minus this uh, so wait the book has it uh, I don't know what is the value. The book has another value. Let me. 10 minus 9.73. And then you have a minus 0.7. So it's a minus 0.43. Minus 0.43. And the book has a minus 0.45. Hmm? So the book has a minus 0.45. But I have a. I have a minus 0.43 volts what does this minus sign indicates the minus sign indicates that we note has the opposite polarity as shown over here so v naught is basically with respect to or if i let you know in one other way if this was your V0, right? This was your V0 at this point. You have your V2 at this point, and you have your negative 5 volts at this point. This was grounded. You know the current through it. You know V2, you know this. So you can apply this as well. So V0 minus V2 was what? 4.55. Plus 5 is equal to 0. So V0 is minus 5 plus 4.55. So, so have a look. It's a, it's a minus 5 plus 4.55. Wait, 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 wait. 4.55. Uh, wait. What is this? You have a negative 0.45 what the book has written. Negative 0 0.45. So anyways, I maybe we have a little mistake somewhere in the calculations over here. But this was the proper manner. So that is why I just told you. We not was basically this means what that this is. We took this to be positive. This to be negative. But with respect to the ground right but this minus sign suggests that we have taken the polarity to be opposite basically this was a minus and the ground was a positive terminal fine so may this one is wrong maybe we have a little calculation mistake or maybe i have done a mistake or whatever this is the proper thing this is the proper leg of the circuit okay okay let's say we take two more examples Two more, right? Because we've got space on the board, so so we have a negative five volts. Example. This is not from the book now. Negative five volts. Silicon diode in the opposite way. Two point two kilo ohm resistor grounded. Determine V not an ID. The ID direction is given, which is this. V not is the voltage across this resistor. What do you have to do? 
let's say we simplify the circuit first but first before that either it is on or off negative is connected to the n side yes positive is connected to the p side yes forward bias and then plus 5 volts you could say over here so it's greater than the barrier potential so this is in the on state and did i discuss the on and off state over here i may have but this is in the on state so this is also in the on state so let's say i draw it in this way and and this so this is 5 this is 0.7 this is 2.2 k the current is flowing in this direction which is id and the voltage that is unknown is over here v naught so id have a look so magnitude to plus is 5 volts minus id times 2.2 10 to the power 3 right and then a plus 2 minus again so minus 0.7 this is equal to 0 solve solve for id by yourself id comes out to be 1.95 milliamperes 1.95 milliamperes now uh, v v naught is simply id times r v naught is the voltage across this resistor so it's just why not v naught is equal to id times r and the value you will have is 4.3 volts i believe so please do it yourself <coughs> sorry do it yourself do it is it fine it is it is if any mistakes so let me know in the comment section let me know in the comment section plus 20 volts example you have a plus 20 volts you have a silicon diode you have a germanium diode you have a 2k ohms resistor you have a 2 kilo ohms resistor over here you have a ground we not is again the voltage at this point which means the voltage across the resistor on or off plus 20 volts forward biasing both the diodes p connected to positive and connected to negative 0.7 for this 0.3 for this 20 volts is greater than individual and the sum both the diodes are both in the on state what is unknown what is unknown so, so let's say V naught and ID is unknown, right? The current in the circuit and the output voltage is unknown, right? So what would be the circuit? Let's say this is first of all your 20 volts. Then you have this silicon is 0.7 volts. Then you have this germanium, this is 0.3 volts. This is a 2.2 kilo ohms resistor. This is a 2.2 kilo ohms resistor and that is it a current will flow in the circuit let me name it like this i id if 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 sad kvl kvl please can you do it should i do it Sh yes i should negative to positive 20 minus 0 0.7 minus 0 0.3 minus i times 2 this is 2 not 2.2 2 kilo minus i times again 2 kilo this is equal to 0 find the value of i it comes out to be comes out to be 4.75 milliamperes 4.75 milliamperes v naught is the voltage over here which means if this is a plus this is a minus v naught is over here so v naught is id times r Put, you have ID, you have R, the value comes out to be 9.5 volts. 9.5 volts. Fine? Yes. 
So in this particular question you could have a problem is that if you have taken your positive over here uh, from the previous, from previous uh, on previous assumption before considering the current diode you should not do this mistake but you, you know the current direction so you should not consider it in that case if you do it like that a minus would come over here this would represent the opposite polarity taken but if you are given the current direction so you should take it in the proper direction and the voltage would come in that particular direction fine suggestions are always welcome mistakes you find my mistakes the comment box is open for you guys and i believe i made this video a little longer no problem let's say one more example if we could not have space so i would give it to you as a homework plus 20 volts 6.8 kilo ohms resistor silicon diode and then minus 10 volts over here is a point where you have v naught so the current is unknown v naught is unknown two battery sources imply what that both will try their individual effort to make it forward or reverse biased this is a silicon diode this potential is greater than that of course of course then the 0.7 volt this will make it a forward bias the conventional current direction is like this so which means the diode is in the on state whereas this is trying again to make it forward biased so you have a let's say you have a, it like this 6.8 k you have a 0.7 if this is silicon diode and then you have a this is 10 and then you have this is 20 id come out to be what i or id it's a 20 minus i times 6.8 k minus 0 0.7 plus 10 equal to 0 you have the value of i which is what which is what it's 4.30 milliamperes 4.30 milliamperes now uh, the v, v naught is at this point so potential at points we've already seen over here so let's say we start from here this is a this is a 20 minus 6.8 into 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 id is this 4.3 and this is equal to v naught the value of v naught comes out to be negative 9.3 volts which means what that if we have considered this to be positive with respect to the ground so this is basically negative with respect to the ground we have not considered that so that is why we don't have anything to do with the negative that is it that is it for the series diode configurations i believe you've got a basic idea now multiple diodes could be connected in series and why are they connected in series so basically to increase the piv rating to increase the peak inverse rating if an application requires peak inverse rating which is greater than that of a single diode you can have multiple diodes connected in series of the same characteristics i would write it down the book has written is nothing more to go in a greater detail if an application requires PIV rating greater than that of a single diode what can you do multiple multiple diodes of the same characteristics can be connected 
in series excuse the writing excuse the writing so that is it i believe i finish this video over here see you in the next one with the parallel diode configurations till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye